got my chores done. <laughs> Heck yeah, living the dream. All right, I'm off. First backpacking trip of the year. It's a little bit snowy up here. Just had a nice storm blow through. It looks like the sun is just starting to come out right now. So that'll be nice. I'm not dealing with snow the whole time. This is what the trail looks like going in. Pretty nice. All right. Looks like I found me a nice place to go play in the snow. Backpack in there a little bit. Set up camp. All right, I came from over there, working my way down this way here. I'm off trail. That down in there looks like a nice flat spot for a, for a camp. Looks like there's some lots of uh, wood down there for fire as well. So I think this might be our spot. I'll go down there and check it out. <laughs> Heck yeah, living the dream. <laughs> yeah, buried in snow from the tree above. What the heck? That's got enough area there for the tent. And then right there is an area by the vestibule so I can get out. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna do the other side. Glad there's not four feet of snow. <laughs> All right, time to set up my bed so I don't freeze to death tonight. All right, so I brought along this uh, insulated heating pad 
cloth. Anyway, so that helps insulate the ground there. Uh, I'll put my uh, closed cell pad down on that, and then I'll put my uh, Thermarest Camper SV on that. So we'll get it blown up, and then I'll get my other pad in here, and we'll and we'll get the uh, sleeping bag in here and let the the down get lofty while I go prep the fire pit area. Put this down. It's supposed to get in the 20s in the night tonight. So I want to make sure that I'm insulated from the ground well and I can stay warm. Otherwise, I don't think this winter camp would be too fun. Put the thermal rest on there. Like so. And I got my Alps engineering pillow. This is a this is a game changer having a pillow like this. So nice. Alright. And then I got me a down blanket. So, pillow and my down blanket, I should be good for the night. No, just kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna get my sleeping bag in here too. And I'm gonna put that down blanket inside my sleeping bag for added protection. So here's my negative 22 degree Fahrenheit down sleeping bag. And it's been in this waterproof uh, stuff sack to keep it dry. Because down doesn't do you any good when it's wet. And it's a good thing too because this on the outside is wet. Because I had a major mishap. I had one of my uh, Coke Zero cans pop open on the way in here and it leaked Coke Zero all over this. But, because of this is waterproof, I won't be sleeping in Coke Zero tonight. And I got a dry sleeping bag. Okay, so... Get that all spread out. Give it a chance to get lofty. Because compressed down won't do you any good either. So we'll let that get all lofted up. Got my pillow. I got two pillows actually. I have uh, my Western Technology here blow up pillow that I use in conjunction with my Alps mountaineering pillow. The two of them together give my head just enough loft off the ground so I don't get a kink neck. And I like it just a little bit squishy. That and that together, perfect. Get that in there ready to go. All right. Now the bed's made, ready to go. I can go get camp ready with the uh, the kitchen and fire. All right, first things first. Gotta get the Coke Zeros in the fridge. <laughs> and I think there's a nice little spot right here. Get those puppies in there. They should be nice and cold to drink with dinner. That'll be good. Heck yeah, living the dream. Looks like just in time for the sun to go down too. I gotta get this fire going. As I look around here, there's a lot of standing deadwood here, this small stuff that I can break off right there and right there. All these little twigs down here, down low, will be good for starting a fire, this small stuff here. So I'll gather that up, you know, some of this stuff here, 
Looks like there's some more deadfall there that I can use. Kind of clean up the forest floor and use that for my fire. And of course this one that I pulled out from under the tent. That'll work good too. All right, well, what I've done is from the tent site here, let's see. I've shoveled all this out behind me here, put the fire there, and then uh, that'll give me a good pathway from the fire to the tent. I, I shoveled all that out so I wouldn't be sinking in the snow. So I'm gonna do the fire next and look at that sunset. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to set up the, uh, the camera on time-lapse and try to get that. All right, here's another look. So that's the tent site that you saw earlier. Here's the vestibule, and then I made a pathway right over to where I'm gonna put the fire right there in that hole. It's almost to the ground level. I'll get some wood going, and that ought to burn down to the ground level, and I'll just keep adding to it. Then I'll put my chair right here. And depending on how cold it gets, I might even put a emergency blanket as a reflector shield right there to reflect the heat back. That'll make it really nice. And look at that sunset. Oh, baby. Yeah. Check that out. Heck yeah. Right on. I want to get that on camera. All right, now I'm starting to gather some wood and stuff. And to start the fire, this uh, these orange parsley dried pine needles, they, they work really good for starting a fire. So we're going to collect a bunch of that. All right, I got a lot of more wood to gather up. But that's a good start to at least get it going. I just bust these off near the bottom. They're all dead right here. You see, you know, it was just bust off and they're super dry so they're protected from the elements by the tree above so they stay dry makes it nice all right let's see if we can't get this thing started you know I've been uh, for the past 12 months or so I've been really confused at what the heck this thing is right here that I've been carrying around in my pocket you know I can't figure out what the heck this thing is for. But I think I found out how it needs to be used. I'm gonna I'm gonna start my fire with it. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be freaking awesome. Check it out. So the way this magnesium fire starter works is you shave off the magnesium and then you spike. Strike the flint on it. Once you get a nice pile like that, and then you can huh. not quite like the uh, instructions. There we go. We make fire. Ah. Look what I have done. I make fire. Wow. Oh, look at that view. It's awesome, isn't it? Freaking awesome. My fire to stay warm. I'm gonna get up the chair here, get it set up, and backpacking chair rolls up. And it just all comes together. And slip those into the little pre sewn holes here, and voila. And then 
to insulate your butt from the ground to use a Z seat. Unfold that, put that right there on your butt, and voila. I'm gonna stoke this fire a little bit more and get some more wood and start cooking some dinner with my new pot that I got. Or not pot, pan, frying pan. And because it's a winter camp, I can bring some cold food with me too. So I don't have to eat a dehydrated meal. I can actually cook something up that's pretty good. All right, this is one of those things I've been packing around forever in my pack. I don't think I've used it in over a year. But I'm gonna use it tonight to help process some firewood. What it is is a, it's a fold up saw. All right, so here's another look at that saw. It was too dark in the video last night to see it. So anyway, it has this little wing nut here that tightens the blade so it doesn't fall off. Watch out for the falling snow. It's got these little notches here and here so that when you crank it down, and then it just comes in three, three pieces like that. Three pieces and a blade. And it fits in this little case right here. Like so. And then the handle. Fits up there like that. All right, and it just folds up, snaps in place like so, snaps there to keep the blades in. It's a pretty nice little compact saw. It's also got a hacksaw in there for if you need to cut metal. Well, looks like it'll get the job done. So I'm gonna process some more wood here for the fire. And get it ready to go. All right, well, I got this, picked up this new pan, fold out handle. It's by uh, GSI Outdoors. So I just got to rig up a place to put the pot, or the pan, without being in the fire. So let's do that now. Smoke in the eyes. <laughs> Man. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Okay. So now, what do we got? We got some chopped up potatoes. Some bacon bits. Seasoning, a little butter to butter the pan, <coughs> some onion. Get that smoke out of my freaking face. Let me get some cooking on there. First things first, let's get the, the butter in there. Get some onions in there. Got this little cute little spatula. That's from GSI Outdoors as well. I'll stir that around. Oh yeah, smells good already. Holy cow, butter and onions. Woo, baby. Get some potatoes in there. 
Everybody in the whole world likes bacon. Well, at least I think they do. So we'll get some bacon in there. This might bring the bears out of hibernation. Who knows? We'll see. We'll get some seasoning in there. This is smoky mesquite. Ham steak. <laughs> might just put some of that in here for tonight. Have the rest for breakfast. Oh yeah, listen to the sizzle. Heck yeah. Ooh baby. That is looking good. Yeah. I don't care who you are, that looks pretty freaking good right there. Ham, bacon, potatoes, onion. Woo, baby. Butter. Boy, this non stick pot works pretty good. I keep calling it a pot, it's a freaking pan. Anyway, non stick's working pretty good. A little bit of butter in there, and we're doing great. It's all done. Time to give it a sample. Wow, that was really good. All right, let's have some potatoes and onion. A little bit of bacon bit right there. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna have to make this for Christy when I get home. She won't come winter camping. No way. Too cold. Too wet. That's all right. Not for everybody, but this food could be for everybody because this is really good. So I'm gonna have to make her some. Yeah. Oh, baby. Little Coke Zero, wash it down. That's good stuff. Wow. Well. That was fun. Just dropped my phone in the fire. <laughs> what the heck? I gotta check it out now. Well, good thing for phone cases. <laughs> well, I'm impressed. Just a little bit of warm water. And that thing shined up just like new. Awesome. chair underneath the tent so it doesn't get covered in snow all right fires burned down low got a light snow coming in I think I'm gonna go turn in <laughs> all right my feet don't want to get cold tonight so I put emergency blanket emergency sleeping bag around the bottom of my bag there that should keep the heat in and then I got uh, some of these little hotties little hand warmers and I'll put those on my socks and double layer my socks so I should have a heat source there on my feet down in there that'll be good and then I'll put a couple more in my pockets up here and I should be snug as a bug. Outside, it's a little bit more colder. My uh, Coke Zero was starting to freeze up as I was drinking it, so. Good morning. Well, it was all right. It only got in the tw 20s last night. Uh, I stayed warm all night. The only problem I had was my hip bothered me a little bit, so I had to toss and turn a little bit. 
because of that to get comfortable, but stayed warm all night. It was good. I can see that the tent has some little bit of snow on it, so it must have snowed last night a little bit. I'm going to get up and get some breakfast going. Looks like the tent got a little dust in the snow last night, as did everything else. Not much, maybe a quarter inch, half inch. All right, gotta get some breakfast and pack up and get on out of here. Smoke and a morning drink. Miss Cave Caramel Latte. <laughs> and French vanilla cappuccino. use the stove to cook eggs so I can regulate the heat because I hate burnt eggs or overcooked eggs. Hate them. Farm fresh eggs from Pax a lot Chicken Resort. <laughs> from an Easter Egger and this one is from a Rhode Island Red. I have just the right heat and slow cook these eggs to perfection. Oh yeah. Had a mishap on one. Got the other one sunny side up. Seems how the sun came out to make it right. Oh baby, doesn't that look good? I thought I'd say this, because I hate frickin' eggs. But those eggs were good. Probably wondering why they didn't freeze in the night too. I uh, wrapped them in my extra down puffer inside the tent. So, kept them good and warm half of that last night for dinner, the other half this morning, heck yeah, <laughs> see that, <laughs> I think I maybe should be out in that meadow, what the heck, as long as it don't go down my neck I'll be alright. Boys up in that airplane I don't know what they're missing down here. They're up there getting peanuts and crackers. If they do that anymore on planes. Oh. Oh heck yeah.
that's good even with smoke in my eyes and the snow is falling off the trees all right time to say goodbye to this glorious place so beautiful out here with the sun and all the snow falling through the trees it's pretty awesome so what i did is i i dismantled fire pit put the fire out buried the whole area with snow tried to get it back to kind of original condition but kind of hard to do this time of year but uh scattered the ashes and then buried it so it's made sure it's out so anyway time to head to the truck when i get back to the truck i might be able to get up and get some drone footage that'd be pretty cool off we go back to the truck all right we were off trail to get here so we're gonna go off trail to get back here we go trucks over this direction so we'll just blaze our own trail through here being we have uh, snowshoes and we can float right on top of the, of the snow without sinking in up to our waist because the snow in here is about three feet deep and it's pretty uh, compact underneath too so it's not too bad Still gotta watch out for these logs and stuff right there. Gotta step on them or around them. I'm gonna go around it. Because you can fall in a hole and break a leg if you're not careful. Oh, there's my tracks coming down. That's safe, I'll just use those. Ooh, this is steep too. Dang. All right. Oh, it's a beautiful day. I'm just in my t-shirt. Super nice. Sun's out. Spring is in the air. ended up going about maybe a half mile from the truck at all. I didn't have to get very far to be off the trail and be by myself. Nice little secluded spot and the pines and the aspens was nice. So I just camped over in the woods here. But look at these views so pretty up here good old UNS gotta love them All right, that's a wrap. Got some drone footage here of the area that I backpacked into. And did my only winter camp of this season so far. Well, on to the next adventure. Enjoy.